Sandwich is like the best one, I think. Oh, ah. no. No, Paula, Paula is so mad that I'm talking to the camera right now. Dating a YouTuber. Can't She's cheers so in privacy. She's so mad. We're going to we're going to Vancouver. Mark McMorris right there. I'm gonna go hang out with uh Mayhar for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna take you guys along. Bye. Just let him let it clink. Step moves right now in the bathroom. In the bathroom. What? On the way to Vancouver. That's right. I'll see you right there. One hour later. Because I guess they don't drop salt. Cool cars, man. Squamish. I mean, not these forts. Or this, uh. What is it called? Jimmy. Oh, I guess Jimmy's are sick too, though. Jimmy's are cool. Land Rover. Look at this Land Rover. Snowing a lot in Squamish. It doesn't snow this much usually, right? No. No. Bears. <laughs> What's up? Hey, bro, what's going on? I mean, I don't know if the video really sees the clouds. Uh, no, it's I, even yesterday it was really, really beautiful. Yesterday, yeah. they had a lot of like this kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. haze and stuff. Really? Oh, it's so badass. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that's the one I was telling you about. That's the night one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so, I recently built this one. And you've been um, breaking it in or whatever. Yeah, it's already broken in basically. <laughs> but it's See? got the two speed and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The body's just on standby basically, but right. eventually if it gets done, it's eight scale. Yeah. So you know it's crazy. One nine, I think. Right. Remember we were talking about the WR8? Yes, it's like this. They released it again. They did. Eh? Like I today. Knew, I knew they were going to do it. Today they were like, it's back. What body are they using? A Subaru Bug Eye. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, but it's funny though, because it's like, it seems like they're, they're, they're listening to us, eh?
probably wondering what the hell is going on. We're in Squamish. I'm with Cardinal Racing and we're building a crazy MCD XR5. Yeah, it's like pretty much exactly like the XR5 you see in the background here, except it is the ultimate. It's the XR5 ultimate. It's the ultimate. And you know, what do you, what's the ultimate man? Well, it's just, it's just like the top of the line MCD chassis, fifth scale beast. This particular chassis, this particular MCD came as a brushless roller, as a uh, just set up for electric. So this is an electric roller. You can buy them set up to be for gasoline two-stroke engines like the Zenoa 4 bolt, 4 bolt 29cc uh, motor. And you know, we thought you guys probably would want to see a gasoline powered two stroke option for this car. So, of course, Mahar and I, uh, well, me shooting, Mahar converted this chassis back into a gasoline two stroke version, which is super sick. It's so sick. The engine, the power plant that we are pairing with this monster chassis is built by G4Z Power. It is the engine builder that is exclusively used by Cardinal Racing. So if you do end up buying a chassis from Cardinal Racing and you do want to pair it with an engine, this is the engine that you're going to get. And G4Z is just a very famous engine builder from the UK. They modifies this damn thing so that it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. The transfer ports have been retimed and reshaped. The exhaust port has been raised and widened. The intake has been retimed. It's been piston, the piston's been machined, trimmed and rimmed. Ho ho ho, trimmed and rimmed. The crankshaft has been realigned and balanced, checked. So this thing's totally balanced, man. It's like blueprinted crazy and the crank case is coated black to improve heat dissipation he uses this crazy kind of like enamel black spray that they they use for guns like some uh, gun builders will use this black paint uh, specifically for gun barrels which is pretty crazy uh, it's got a trimmed flywheel to gain rpm and the carburetor has been bearinged and the choke has been removed so it's like a 668 carb uh correct me in the comments if i made a mistake but uh yeah it's you know there's nothing in the way there there's no choke flap to stop airflow which is also super super huge this motor is a beast especially when paired with that monster barracuda expansion chamber pipe man this thing has an incredible power curve and it is perfect for a four-wheel drive chassis of this size man 32 cc's that is just nutty this thing screams with a 29er and uh, we're putting a 32 in what <laughs>
cool thing about the MCD platform is it's super, super race bred. So everything about it is tunable, everything. And everything is marked and etched with lasers. It's just, it's an insane, it's just an insane experience to have to deal with this chassis. Uh, what's super cool about the engine is that it sits on this little engine plate and that engine plate is very easy to pop in and out. You can change the engine on the fly, you know, during a race season, during a race, you know, in the pits, you can, train, you know, can switch one out very quickly. You can also change the gear ratios really quickly. And if you were checking it out, it also has quite an incredible like, pro, what do they call it, pro two clutch. It is a keyed clutch. The um, bell housing and the clutch are keyed together. So when it does bite, it bites hard. It's just an incredibly beautiful setup. And uh, man, oh man, everyone should experience the engineering and the quality, the build quality of these chassis because it will just blow your freaking mind. It'll blow your freaking mind. Yeah, the whole motor package is so much cooler than the engine package is so much cooler than the brushless motor. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's no comparison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you on that one, 100%. What an incredible platform. The thing is just covered in just glorious aluminum machine work. Uh, MCD does all of their manufacturing in-house. They do their injection molding. They do their five axis CNC milling. They do their anodizing. They do their laser etching. Everything is done in-house and to a level that is just absolute quality. Um, none of this stuff is farmed out to any other corporations or uh, Chinese factories or whatever, and uh, it shows. Uh, these are have definitely become the fifth scale racing darlings um, that they deserve to be, which is crazy. massive also. Uh, here you can see we're throwing on the XR5 body which is actually a Fiat Tipo. It is a uh, hatchback Fiat Tipo that has been widened to that WRC flavor of wide body awesomeness and I believe Cardinal Racing had used at least six cans of Tamiya PS red paint on this particular body, and all of the accoutrements that he had, you know, employed to make this body look as scale as shit as absolutely possible, which is super fire. Uh, we have to admit, you have to admit, this is definitely one of the most the most scale beautiful fifth scale body you have ever seen. Um, it is understated. It is very abar. It is like Ferrari red, and it has all of the, the you know, it has all of the Fiat sig insignia and uh, the mesh grill. Everything about it is pure fire. <laughs> we
And the cherry on top are all of the body lines, perfectly, perfectly taped up to look as scale as it possibly can. I just can't get enough of it with just the cage on it. I think it's so sick with the cage. With the cage it looks like Looks like we're doing the lights on the back, which is huge. So if you do want one, go visit cardinalracing.com and he's got a bunch of stock. You don't have to get the ultimate. The ultimate is, like I said, it's, the, it's an ultimate price because it is 100% aluminum, but you can just get the regular XR5 roller and uh, it is substantially cheaper and just as sick. Uh, it's the one that I have behind here. The chassis is actually hanging on the wall behind me. You know, if you want to buy one of these monsters, you know, go to cardinalracing.com. Mahar here will hook you up with some serious, seriously epic RC monsters, man. You can't, this is, this isn't your X Max. This isn't your low C5. This thing is like on another level. leave you guys off with uh, K-pop and Nash hitting the MCD back when it was gasoline before we converted it to brushless and uh, we drifted it around and on a rainy day and man that was a fun day so I'm gonna leave you off with some of that footage thanks a lot for coming and hanging out with me as I go halfway across the world 
to go visit Cardinal Racing and put together this super supreme beast. Man, if you guys want more MCD content, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we're gonna definitely take this thing out again. I've got some pretty intense uh, rally uh, grip tires that we're gonna we're gonna definitely try to do some WRC action. Also, I've been spending a ton of time uh, modeling scale, perfectly scale replica Fiat Tipo light buckets that I will be printing in resin and casting into part epoxy that Cardinal will also be offering on his website soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, cheers to beers, bros. Come hang out on Tall Can Tuesday. Also, if you guys are looking for scale as shit stickers for your scale as shit ride, visit kpoprc.com. Uh, yeah, support your boy, get some merch. Uh, if you can, that would be huge. I'm trying to pump out more videos for you dudes. And uh, hopefully this one is worth the wait. Awesome. That's it for this episode of K-Pop RC. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment below. At 100,000 subscribers, I am giving away the Adam LZ Drift Project. So sub up and don't miss out. Till next time, K-Pop out. That's weird, this is the second time it's done like ghosty shit where it like, and same side too. That's the same side that got hit. I wonder if you want to put a better radio to it.
Yeah, but we had a better radio to it, but yeah, totally. I think as well, like, it all, probably all got wet. 